Hi, everybody. I think I made this live stream public. Let me wait and see before I start driving. Okay, somebody thumbs up the video. Thank you for letting me know. Come on in and thumbs up the video if you are my friend. Y'all, I am starving. And I was gonna wait to get something to eat later, but I can't wait. So I'm about to drive to go get me something to eat. Uh, I don't feel like running into Costco because uh, I need a shower. <laughs> so I am going to just go through the drive-thru of Papa's Barbecue. I'm going to get me a one half chicken, sausage, uh, and I am going to get me cucumber salad. And, or maybe I'll get some rice and the sweet potatoes. And I don't need anything to drink. I'll just get water. Two slices of jalapeno bread toasted on both sides. They don't be toasting my bread on both sides when I ask them for it. And the last time I asked them for two slices of jalapeno bread, they didn't give it to me. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'm headed to Papa's Barbecue. Um, I found a new Planet Fitness on another side of town, y'all. Um, they opened up a new Planet Fitness in another little town that I'll be going to. So that is good. So, you know, every side of town you go to is good when it could have a Planet Fitness, especially when you're doing city van life, y'all. City van life is harder in the summertime. It's harder in the summertime when you're sleeping in your van and you can't open your doors at night. And I think I kind of had a remedy, but like I had made these things to put over my windows. Uh, so last year when I was in the city, I would actually sleep with my windows down because I had made these things to put over my windows. But I don't know, I got these other little things that I bought that said they would fit over your window, but they don't. I don't know if it'll fit on the inside. I'm gonna try it and see if you're just supposed to put it over your window and not the door. Cause if I could sleep with my van windows open, it would give me more of a breeze. Oops, wait a minute. I was going the wrong way. I forgot where I was going. I almost turned. And I was supposed to keep straight. Oh, uh, if you don't let me drive, I'm driving this car. Thank you very much. I'm not running out in the front of traffic and getting hit. funny how people want to tell you how to drive. Yeah, Papa's Barbecue closes at 9 and I got some chili on my shirt from earlier today. So if y'all see a stain on my shirt, it is chili 
And if you guys do not like eating, if you don't like my eating, if you don't like me smacking, chewing, eating, talking with food in my mouth, then this is not going to be the live stream for you. You can come back later or you can watch the next video, but I am starving. I'm about to eat. I'm about to smack. I'm about to chew. I'm about to do what I do. I'm about to lick my fingers. So if you don't like any of that, this is not going to be the video for you, okay? I'm giving you your fair warning. Like right now, you don't have to leave no comments. And another thing, you guys, to all the people that are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you being here. Y'all thumbs up the video. Let me know you're here. I have my comments disabled on my live streams not on the videos in the videos you can leave comments my regular videos that come out every day at 6 a.m you can you can leave a comment on the videos and let me know what you think about the videos but on the live streams i have my comments disabled while the live stream is going on but you could give the video a thumbs up to let me know that you're here so i want to let some of the new people know that if you're new to the channel please don't leave comments on the channel telling me about my health telling me about my daughter telling me to go to the doctor or this or that i have videos on the channel addressing those things so if you care to watch those videos you can watch those videos but if you're new to the channel please don't leave comments on the channel telling me to go to the doctor telling me to go get my garter check telling me about this or that i delete those comments i will never respond to them because i just delete them as soon as soon as i see any comment talking about any you know, my knot in my throat, my neck, my eye, my, anything concerning my health. Uh, when you are watching my content, I am posting a video on whatever it is I'm talking about. So you can leave a comment relating to the video, but my health is something that is off topic. Uh, so please don't leave those type of uh, comments on the channel because I just delete them. I don't respond to them. I just delete them. And they go to spam. Nobody else is going to see them. They go to spam. And I'm the only person that sees them. And I have to approve your message. And I don't approve them. I just delete them. So I just wanted to let you guys know that just in case you're new to the channel and you're leaving comments on the channel because you say you are concerned about my health my health is fine and uh please don't leave those type of comments on the channel so i am starving y'all i'm starving like marvin i was about to go do something else but i really need to give me something to eat and I don't feel like going in the store. I could have went to Sam's and got a rotisserie, I mean, a Costco, and got me a rotisserie chicken and a salad. It would have came out cheaper, but I don't feel like going inside the store right now because I'm musty and I'm funky. Somebody sent me a cash app well, a couple of people sent me a cash app over the last few days. So I'm just going to pay for my food with the cash app. So thank you to the people who sent me a cash app. I appreciate it. Um, how are y'all doing today? So that's what I was talking about, y'all. I was talking about living in your van in the summertime girl uh last year or year before last i actually got sick staying in my van in the city um uh, 
doing van life, can't open your doors, can't roll down your windows, it's harder. So, I need to figure out something where I can roll my windows down. Like I had made these things last year where I could roll my windows down and I had this net over it. But they got dry rot from the sun and it was a different kind of material. Then I bought these things off of Amazon. I think they're gonna be over here somewhere. Oops, this thing is leaking. I bought this thing off of Amazon. Sometimes these people in this drive through over here, they take long to take people orders when it's, uh, when it's close to time for them to close so they won't take the next person's order. But I think they close at nine, it's before nine, so I don't know. But yeah, y'all, so I need to find out some kind of remedy to be in my van at night where I don't suffocate. During the daytime is fine because I can open my doors, I can open my windows, I can have my fan on. I think I left one of my fans uh, in Nevada, not Nevada, in Arizona. So how was y'all day today? Happy Sunday. I got some one errand I need to run tomorrow. And then after that, I'm gonna do some uh, store walkthroughs. So y'all let me know what stores y'all want me to do some walkthroughs in on the other channel, Vanessa VIPB. I think... I think I'm going to do several store walkthroughs tomorrow. I'm going to try to get up early because I need to go to the post office. I don't think the post office uh, lobby opens till... Eight though. Yes, can I get a one half chicken and the sausage link? Uh huh. 
a chicken and a coffee plate? Yes, and can I have uh, the sweet potatoes and the rice as the sides? Texas rice and what else? The sweet potatoes. A potato salad? No, the, the, you don't have the sweet potatoes here? The potato takes up two sides. No, ma'am. I'm talking about the sweet potatoes. Oh, yams. Okay. Yes, the yams. I'm sorry. Yams and Texas rice, okay? And I like two uh, slices of the jalapeno bread toasted on both sides, please. How many? Two. Two slices of jalapeno bread toasted on both sides. Okay. Jalapeno cheese toasted on both sides. Okay, anything else? That's it. Okay. Any pickles and jalapenos today? Uh, no ma'am. Alright, it's going to be 1889. Thank you. Y'all yeah, thumbs up the video. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. How y'all doing? Um, I'm gonna shampoo my hair soon and retwist it and um, I'm gonna lock it. I might twist it all at once again and then the next day lock it. But yeah, I have to lock it because if I don't lock it, it's going to come a loose. Like my whole back of my head is loose. It's not twisted anymore. So some may stay locked because I did lock some. Like this one is locked. But I'm going to have to shampoo my hair and retwist it. I want to go to Dollar Tree. They stay open till 10. I don't know if I'm going to go Dollar Tree tonight. But tomorrow I'm going to do a lot of running around because I want to do some store walkthroughs. So I have content coming on this channel. Is this time of the year considered spring? It's not summer yet, is it? child this time is winter for texas this was like our winter months february and march are like our winter months child i don't know what i'm gonna do in texas in the summer child i might have to take my butt back to arizona <laughs> I might have to take my butt back to Arizona and just spend the summer in my trailer doing nothing but being but being in the AC. Or going somewhere cooler. I want to go to Malibu. I want to go to Malibu. I might. Malibu is a place where last summer all of y'all was telling me to go to Malibu because y'all was telling me it's cooler at night. So I just need to find somewhere. It don't matter if it get hot during the day because I can be out. But I need to find somewhere where it's cooler at night. So, yeah, y'all. I bet you the bread is not toasted on both sides. If my bread is toasted on both sides, this is going to be the first time in 
the history. This is gonna be the first time in the history of coming to Papa's. And my bread gets toasted on both sides. Thank you. My card is peeling. So we're going to go in the back. We're going to go in the back and eat. I don't need nothing to drink. I'm just going to drink water. I can't remember if I took my iodine today. I don't think I did. Mm -hmm. I don't think I took my iodine today. Hello, happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. Thank you. I'm not gonna go back. Something is telling me to check my food, but I am not gonna check this food. I already know. Last time I told them I wanted two jalapeno bread. I just got one. They just gave me one. They didn't give me two. And it wasn't toasted on both sides. So I have low hopes. My hopes are low. How low can you go? How low can you go? My hopes are low when it comes to my jalapeno bread. Everything else, they pretty much get right on my order. The bread, mm-mm. Not so much. Not so much. I called my friend today, FaceTimed her, my friend that lives here in Houston, or one of my friends that live here in Houston. Um, she has green fingernail polish on. And I showed her my green purse. And she likes big purses, so I think I'm going to give that purse to her. Okay, y'all. Let me go to the back. I'm just going to pull over here and eat. So. Let me go to the back so I can turn on the light and we can eat. Sorry, that was my palm of my hand, y'all. Let me see if I can put y'all on the charger. Let me see if y'all charging. I don't know if y'all will get too hot up there. I think y'all will get too hot. 
up there. Y'all, I'm looking like a hot mess, but whatever. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. I am here to eat. I'm starving. Let's check out my toast. Is it toasted on both sides? See, they don't toast it. They just put butter on it. They don't like... I want it brown on both sides. I want it toasted. Good help. It's hard to find. They didn't even cut up the sausage. They normally cut the sausage up. But whatever. I'm going to eat it. Anyway, they gave me some barbecue sauce today. Last time they didn't give me no sauce. Which I normally don't eat anyway. So I'm not complaining. Let me show y'all my food. That is my chicken, sausage, rice, and yams. Thanks to the subscriber that sent me a cash app yesterday. Father God, we thank you for this food. We're about to receive your blessings, your kindness, your mercy, your grace. And all the provisions you made upon our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm hungry. I might go get me a rotisserie chicken or some chicken for tomorrow. Or I might go. I might go to Kroger. And buy me some steaks tomorrow and go to the park and put them on the grill. I might do that. So I can cook outdoors. I don't have no charcoal, but I do have some wood. Y'all don't like eating sounds, smacking, chewing, and talking with your mouth full. Come back or catch the next video. The yams are not even hot or warm. They're kind of cold. Mm. That's not good. They're actually cold. They're not even warm. I'm going to eat this. Leg. Mm. I like the seasoning mm. on their chicken. Whatever rub they use tastes good. I want to go to the Rattlesnake Festival. In Round Top, Texas. It's like 300 and something miles away. I think it say it's a six hour drive. I could do that in one day though. I've been wanting to go for years and I've never made it. 
I might make it this year. I might make it this year. I might make it. Let me look it up. Y'all let me know if y'all ever been to the Rattlesnake Roundup. Hey, Siri. Hmm? Rattlesnake Roundup in Texas. It says it's held in Sweetwater, Texas. Hmm. Hey, Siri. Hmm? How far is Sweetwater, Texas? It's still 300. Okay. Sweetwater. I thought it said it was in a uh, round. Round Rock, Texas. Hey, Siri. Huh? Rattlesnake Roundup. Hey Siri. Huh? Texas Rattlesnake Roundup. That's not what pulled up earlier. Mm -mm. Hey Siri. Uh huh. Round Rock. Rattlesnake Roundup. Sweetwater. World's largest rattlesnake roundup. March 8th, 9th. Oh, I might not make it. In the 10th. Also held the second week of March. That's next week. Or this week. Is that this week? Girl, I might not make it. I wanted to go to the rodeo. Dates and times, March the 7th, 4 p.m., Rattlesnake Parade. So it's going to be going on on March the 7th, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., the Carnival. All day pass is $35, Carnival only. Weekend pass, $100, sold only on Thursday. Carnival only, ticket $1 each. 7 p.m. Miss Snake Pageant. Friday the 8th. Doors open to the public. Mm. I hope I can make it, y'all.
I have something else. I was gonna do. And I wanted to go to the rodeo before I leave here. I don't want to drive 300 and something miles and then have to come back to the rodeo. Mm. I don't know how I'm going to do everything I want to do. <laughs> but I probably will make one of the days of the rattlesnake roundup. Once I get on that side of the world, I don't know what else is going to be to do over there. In Sweetwater, Texas. I've never been. Girl, I hope they don't have a lot of rattlesnakes down there. But obviously they do. Mm. Child, I don't know if I'm going to be camping. <laughs> mm. I need to type in... Let me see what is there to do in Sweetwater, Texas. Trip to Sweetwater. Full episode. Sweetwater, Texas. Driving tour of the county. Sweetwater Hotel. Oh, Sweetwater. Is that in Texas? Sweetwater Hotel. I don't think that's in Texas because that look like that's on the beach. I don't think Sweetwater had no beach. I think there's some, something else. Sweetwater, Texas. Sweetwater, Texas, hood. <laughs> the Texas bucket list. Rattlesnakes everywhere. Sweetwater. Rattlesnake roundup. Ooh. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, but I'm, I'm going to be scared. Ooh. World's largest rattlesnake roundup in sweet. Woo. Girl, we going. I probably ain't gonna be able to make all the days. But with, ooh, look at all them rattlesnakes. My goodness. What in a donkey cone is going on? Girl, look at that big old rattlesnake. World's largest rattlesnake roundup in Sweetwater, Texas. Girl, girl, girl. Well, y'all. We are headed to Sweetwater, Texas. to go see some rattlesnakes. <laughs> I'm excited. Can you tell? Can you tell? I'm excited. Does anybody know of places to camp? 
to stay in Sweetwater, Texas, let me know. Girl, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Yeah. I hope they catch all the rattlesnakes. And it don't be none just crawling around. Y'all let me know if y'all gonna be excited to see that. This gonna be my first time seeing a rattlesnake in person. I just rather would I rather see one in a contained situation <laughs> than to run into one unexpectedly. Mm. Y'all thumbs up the video. Let me know. Would y'all rather go to the rattlesnake roundup and see a rattlesnake in a contained situation? A controlled situation. This is the word I was looking for. Or would you rather run into one unexpectedly? Mm -mm. I'd rather go to the Rattlesnake Roundup. <laughs> I'd rather drive 394 miles away. Let me eat a piece of this sausage. And then that's going to be it for me. I hope I make it in the van tonight because it's hot. I think the last year I had to run my fan at night. And I'm trying to remember how much solar I needed To run my fan all night. It's hot. Very hot and humid. if I need to sleep with my refrigerator open, my freezer open. And let that ice cold come out the freezer. And I need to open up my vent. My vent don't, the little screw thing on it.
broke off. So. I have to unscrew this thing. I need a Phillips. This is not a Phillips. Let's see if I can get this thing open to let some... Oh, yeah, there we go. Let a cool, cool breeze in. I might have to sleep with a water bottle, a ice water bottle in my bed. Like some people sleep with uh, a hot water bottle in the wintertime. I might need a cold water bottle. <laughs> So y'all let me know what y'all do to stay cool in the summertime, living in your van, in the city where you can't open your doors, you can't put your windows down. You don't want nobody to know you're in your van. So what do you do? What do you do? I think that would be the perfect timing to have a box truck where you can have a um what do they call the where you could have a a window that slides open with a screen. I think that would be the, the thing you need on top of a box truck. Box trucks roofs are so thin though. Some of the roof. I don't want no box truck with the, the thin roof on it. So, yeah, I was just coming on here to eat my food. If y'all haven't checked out the video today on the channel where I interviewed Miss Pauline about her van, please watch that video. But if y'all didn't see that interview with Miss Charlene and Miss Pauline, check out that video. I did an interview with them and give it a thumbs up. We have almost 300 thumbs up on that video. Can we get that video to 5,000 views? Uh, it's my goal to get every video on the channel I post videos every single day at 6 a.m. Central Time, but you can watch the video anytime during the day. It's my goal to have that video reach 5,000 views. If we could get every video to 5,000 views every single day, that would be great and that would help me out a lot. If we could get the videos to 500 thumbs up every day that would be great if i could get y'all to leave 200 300 comments on the videos every day that would be great as well the more interaction 
that y'all give the videos, the more comments you leave on the videos, the more thumbs up you leave, watching the video all the way to the end, that helps out a lot helps the channel helps me help my paycheck and all of that the more y'all watch the videos every day the more money i can make and pay my bills and save for this van i would like to buy by december i'm born on christmas day so i would love to buy my new van by december but if for some reason or another i can't get it by december then I'm just going to get it when I could get it. Whenever I could get it. I'm trying to set a goal for myself, but whenever I could get it. And this and, and I still have this one as long as this one is still working. And I'm not stranded nowhere. I'm all right. I'm good. I'm not in a rush, but I'm trying to set a goal to get my new van at least by december uh so yeah if y'all didn't watch the video with miss charlene and miss pauline watch that video if you can Hold on, y'all. I am liking the comments on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at Vanessa's Van Life Journey. Thanks to everybody who have already followed me over there. We're up to 3,059 followers on Instagram. Oh, I forgot. I'm, I wanted to... Uh, I need to post a short, a reel on uh, Instagram. I was uh, driving downtown yesterday so yeah i want to post that video so yeah y'all make sure y'all following me on instagram and if y'all haven't signed up for fetch yet <sighs> let me give y'all the information so y'all can sign up for Fitch. I have I have 53,000 points where I could sign up for Fetch. But if you guys are not signed up for Fetch yet, this is not a sponsored video. I use Fetch to scan my receipts. And uh, all of my receipts, I scan my receipts and I refer you guys to Fetch. So I get points for every time I scan a receipt today. I think I got like 600 or 700 points. Let me see. Do it show me how many points I got today? Uh, I got 400 points from scanning my receipts today. Uh, how many other receipts did I scan today? So, uh, I ordered some food from kfc the other day and i got 400 points today for scanning that receipt 
from KFC and I scanned a lot of other receipts. Where are they? I scanned some more receipts. today um but it's not showing me all the receipts that I scanned but I got about 800 to a thousand points today and I got a thousand points for somebody signing up today so uh i have 53,000 points okay here is these the receipts i scanned today okay so these are the receipts that I scanned today. Some of them was rejected because they were 14, over 14 days old. I scanned my receipt from Macy's, my receipt from KFC. That's 425. Let me see. Let me see how many points I got today. That's 500. Five hundred plus a thousand from somebody signing up. That was like fifteen hundred points. Fifteen hundred Oh, that one, let me see. Hold on. So that was eight receipts that I scanned right here. Times eight. So that's two hundred points, six hundred points, seven hundred points. Anyway, y'all, I got over like 2,000 points, kind of like 2,000 points today. So I have 53,000 points, which is equivalent to $53. So I could cash in my points for $53 from scanning my receipts and referring you guys. So I got $53 that I could cash in. So I'm going to show you guys how to sign up if you haven't signed up already. Again, this is not a sponsored video. When you sign up, right now they have a promotion going on. You get a thousand points and I get a thousand points when you sign up and use my referral code. If you sign up and you do not use a referral code, you do not get points. So you have to use a referral code. So what you're going to do is put your phone over this qr code like you're taking a picture it's going to take you to fetch once you go to fetch you fill out your information you don't have to put your your name you don't have to put your real name your whole name you can put your nickname they're just going to ask you like three or four questions it's not nothing really personal and you put your information you could use your initials your first your nickname or whatever you don't have to put your real name so scan the QR code, put your information. When it asks you for a referral code, use my code right here, P6WCJQ. That's my referral code, P6WCJQ. Once you use the referral code and you scan your first receipt, you are going to receive a thousand points. I'm going to receive a thousand points. 
and you're going to receive a thousand points. Then from there, you scan any receipts that you have. You don't want to scan more than 35 receipts per week. So that's like seven receipts per day. But if you got a lot of receipts right now that are no older than 14 days, scan those receipts up to 30 day, up to uh, 30 of them and don't scan no more uh, till next week. Just get your old receipts out the way and don't scan no more till next week. And then you're going to have 14 days. You got up to 14 days to scan your receipts. So that's Fitch. And I can show y'all that Fitch really works. It really works, y'all. Uh, these are... When I cash in my points, I always get uh, Amazon gift cards. So you can get gift cards to restaurants. You can get gift cards to Amazon. You can get gift cards to your favorite stores. You pick where you want to redeem your points at. So last year, I redeemed my points to Amazon. I got $450 of gift cards to Amazon. So last year, that's why I got my points at, to Amazon. 100 200 300 Oh, uh, was it? Mm, I thought it was 400. Maybe the other ones is from the year before. I don't know. 100, 200, 300. So it's looking like this is 365. 365. I thought it was more than that, y'all. Okay, but right here it's showing $365. I don't know why I thought I cashed in more than that, but three hundred and sixty-five free dollars. I'll take it, girl. I'll take it. So y'all better sign up for Fitch. Y'all better refer y'all friends and family members. Y'all better scan y'all receipts. And you can see over here. Things that you could buy, like you can go, when you get ready to go grocery shopping, you can look over here and see what's on the list, what they're going to give you points for. Sometimes you just need to change the brand. Like if you're going to buy mayonnaise instead of getting whatever, you could get Hellman's and you're going to get points for buying the Hellman's, Pepsi soda, uh, Sunco fuel. I don't know who who is Sunco fuel. Your gas receipts. Say, scan all your receipts. Quaker oatmeal. A lot of these brands y'all use. I would be getting more points, y'all, but I don't I don't buy all this stuff. All I'm doing is buying mayor uh look, I'm looking at the mayonnaise. <laughs> I was about to say all I'm doing is buying mayonnaise. I'm, I know some of y'all buying some A1 sauce. Y'all buying some Skittles. I ain't buying all this stuff. All I'm doing is buying meat. So if I was buying all this other stuff, Lay's chips. I know y'all buying y'all some Lay's chips and all that, girl. Y'all making them groceries. Y'all might as well be scanning y'all receipts. And y'all might as well be getting y'all some points for scanning your receipts for stuff you're going to buy anyway. Get that free money. Let that money grow. Save that money to Christmas. You might have two, three hundred dollars by Christmas time. So anyway, that's what I refer. I'm suggesting to y'all get some free money. I'll be getting mine. I got fifty three dollars right now. So thank God for that. But anyway, y'all, I was just coming on here to eat because I was starving to death. If y'all have any tips for me on how to not suffocate in the van, 
leave them in the comments bar below so I can make a video too to recommend to other people how not to suffocate in a van in the summertime I got my water bottles in there I think I'm gonna buy some water bottles some more water and I'm gonna fill up my freezer with water bottles and let that open let that freeze and then at night I will open my freezer every night and that should make the place cooler just by opening my freezer I'm gonna try that so I'm gonna go get me some more water tomorrow and I'm gonna put it in my freezer and when I got some good solar coming in I'm gonna have my freezer on and then at nighttime I can open that freezer door up and have it be cooler up in here. I think that might work. That might help me out a little bit. And then if I plug this fan up and put this fan going toward the refrigerator, girl, I think we got something. I think we gonna have to have that fan going toward the refrigerator. And girl, we might have our own little air condition up in here. Y'all let me know if y'all think that's going to work. I think it's going to work. I think that's going to work, girl. If I think about something hard enough, I think I might come up with a solution. We got to do what we got to do. When we live in van life, child, we have to get creative in van life. Y'all agree with me? Thumbs up the video if you agree. that we have to get creative in van life. So uh, somebody left a comment on the channel and say it's this company in my hometown that do professional van bills for people's vans whatever you want they can do i just i was just doing a little research and my lord they charge so much but you miss vanessa is so talented you can do everything you need yourself i wish i was good with my hands like you you can be girl i told y'all i come help you I come help you for a fraction of the cost. You let me know what your budget is. How much you willing to pay me? You have to cover the cost of me driving down there and staying down there. You know, I'm probably ain't going to charge you $20 and $30 for no van bill, but. You know, you got. A fraction of the cost for the van VLI. Come help you. But it have to be worth my while. I can't come and help people for free. I got to be able to make some money. So if you could afford somebody to come and help you and work alongside you and you do some work and we do it together hit me up at vanessa's van life journey at yahoo.com So anyway, y'all, I'm going to let y'all go. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. I love y'all. Leave comments in the comment bar below after I end the live stream. Let me know you were in here. Let me know what you think about the live stream. Let me know if you got any tips for me to stay cool in this van in the summertime. I think I just came up with one myself, girl. Uh, and we're going to try it. And I'm going to get back with y'all and let y'all know if it works. Okay. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Have a great night.